first? How big a boost were they? Well, they were huge, were huge. I mean, obviously, Braden gave us some uh, great minutes and, and just great shot making in that uh, uh, first half. And then Ben just gave us a lift overall. I mean, just with his energy and his toughness, and you know, I talked to him about just when he brings that, it, it just it makes just such a huge difference in uh, our team. You know, and then the, the, all, the, all the baskets, the threes, and all those are, are you know frosting on the cake, man. It's that when he brings that other stuff, it just raises us up to quite a level. What kind of spark, what kind of sparked you guys in the second half? It was I think a nine point game, and then you've extended it to seventeen with about five minutes left. Ben, ben making yeah. plays, guys making plays. Um, I mean, it was hard. They're so talented and so gifted. Uh, you know, Boogie gets twenty eight, doesn't even shoot a, a free or a free throw. And I don't even know if he shot a lay in. And then he gets twenty eight. I mean, that's a that's amazing. Twenty eight. I mean, he's he's something man. as a shot maker and Collier's. So good going downhill. Um, it was hard for us to string together, you know, three stops. You call that a kill, and we were trying, but uh, uh, so we just had to keep scoring. So you guys did a great job doing that. What did you think of the effort tonight, especially on the defense? Spectacular. I mean, I thought we competed really, really well. I mean, we're, this team's kind of getting uh, that's their identity. I think they're, they're every night they're stepping up and they're competing and they're. Hustling, they're playing physical, they're you know communicating, and, and uh, but most of all, just competing. Man. Is this the kind of win that will hold up down the road, kind of like UCLA? I mean, I sure think so. I think I think they got a nice looking team. I mean, they got athletes inside. They got two incredible, or three incredible starting guards. Johnson uh, um, didn't shoot a great tonight, but he's a he's a very good player, very good shooter, and a heck of a defender. And uh, you know Rodman's a great kind of do everything guy for him, and but the you know those two starting guards or something. Question for Justin Ben. Yeah. Ben, what was it like to just kind of you know get into that zone, especially in the second half? Uh, it was awesome. <laughs> it was, it's a great feeling to get in that, that spot mentally. Um, but I mean, came out in the first half and didn't do anything. I think I hurt the team more than I helped it. Um, so I knew at halftime I had to flip a switch. Um, go out there and just try and make winning plays and you know just the rebound and all that stuff and then the scoring just came with it um, which was great and yeah so it's a lot of fun to be in that, in that zone dusty when you can see the first couple of threes go in what does that do for your confidence i mean it feels great you know we work so hard on, on those shots every day so just to see them go down early uh feels really good how about the defense dusty especially that block i mean it, it sometimes watching you it feels like offense just comes naturally to you but think of playing on yeah, I mean, I love to compete. I love to play defense. Uh, and I think, you know, growing up, I always loved to play defense. Um, so, yeah, no, defense is just something I love to do. Does it feel pretty good to beat the two LA? Yeah, man, it feels great. It feels great. It feels great. Since the loss to Purdue, whatever was covered after that in terms of, hey, who are the dudes? How have you two seen the, the improvement and it sort of come to fruition during this week? Um, I mean, we, I think we battled Purdue. It was awesome. We battled them to the end. Um, you know, we, we had held our head up high after that that loss. I mean, they're a great team, a lot of great players. Um, and we bounced back so quick. And, you know, we know what we're capable of, I and mean, we're still kind of gelling together. But, you know, we're, we're super talented in all all aspects on the court. Um, you know, we got guys that just love to win, love to compete. That's kind of the culture of Gonzaga. We love to win, and that's what we want to do, and that's what we're going to try and do every game. Um, yeah, he's got a bunch of winners on the team. That's our mentality. Dusty, you guys had, I think, six and double figures. Anton had nine. What does that do to a defense trying to you know, defend all the time? I mean, it's, it's a nightmare, honestly. You know, we we all love to see each other score, and we all love to see each other make plays. I think that's what makes this play so special is that uh, we're all happy for each other on the court. So, uh, yeah, defensively, it's, it's tough to guard us. How tough was it guarding you, especially Collier? You were on him a few times. Yeah, it was it was it was a good matchup. I I enjoyed it for sure. Yeah. Time for a couple more. Ben, just the uh, the depth you guys have in the front court when you know Graham gets in foul trouble, it seems like you guys don't really miss a beat. What's that going to do for you guys the rest of the year? And obviously the UCLA win, it was pretty handy too. Yeah, I mean I bet it's probably 
hard for teams to see those our starting base go out and then me and Brandon come in because we kind of do different things than the starters do. Um, it just kind of brings a different um, aspect on the court. You know, we can step out and shoot threes and, and stuff. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're very deep and our guards are playing a lot of minutes and they're doing a great job fighting through it, uh, playing hard every minute. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's going to be tough for teams to, to guard us. Mike, defensively, you, I think you're one of the top three point defenses. Uh, and that was a factor tonight, especially how they came out shooting. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I tell you, they had our full attention the way Boogie we were in eight for nine last game. And, and uh, uh, you know, Johnson shoots it really, really well. And, and Rodman shoots it really, really well. And, and all of you were shooting over 40 from three. So they, they definitely had our full attention. On that, but we also we knew we needed to really do our best at trying to commit to to some of those guard drives just to try to slow some of it down. You know, at times during that game, it didn't look like it or feel like it, but I think we strung together a couple stops on those those hard guard drives. Coach, the other night you had some frustrations with the choppiness of the offense. Did you see improvement there tonight? Yeah, you no, know, I think. Uh, we flowed better. We we pitched it ahead better. We played with better pace, and, and uh, yeah, de definitely. I mean, obviously, when you shoot the way we shoot, I mean, you know, I mean, we have, definitely haven't made 12 threes this year, so uh, it's nice when the ball goes in. It kind of solves a lot of a lot of issues. Ben, you guys get pretty good crowds in Vegas for the uh, WCC. Did it kind of feel similar tonight with kind of an overwhelming advantage in terms of fans? Yeah, our tra our fans travel so so great. I mean, it's so fun to play in those these neutral games because they all feel like home games. Um, yeah, I mean we had I think we had the best fans in the nation, and uh, they show up every game for us, and you know they they help us a lot. You know just the energy they bring, and that kind of feeds us on the court. Uh, so yeah, we can't thank them enough for what they do.